we're all alive. We have a whore. I just remember a whore. <laughs> <laughs> My turn oh, depends on look at, I, um, look at things, I guess. If I just remembered, I have a eraser that's in the shape of a pig that's about this big. Okay. Alright, uh, I guess we're going to start breaking Let's down break the bore. In. Sure. Cleaning it? I don't know how that works. Mold Survival earth. check. Mold earth. <laughs> just bury it. Uh, whoever's going to be doing it, uh, inspire. Hey! Six? Yes. Um, seven, um, sixteen. Sixteen? Uh, you perform a pretty good dressing of the animal. Uh, as you leave in the guts and everything you don't need here, it's relatively easy for you to move. It's only going to be about 500 pounds. Okay. We have a dragonborn and we have you. It's true. And I can carry what I can. <laughs> But I'm carry one of the legs. Okay, okay, so I guess we'll carry what we can. I, I can take the fur, I guess, since it's an easy thing. Okay. Uh, we'll just carry. Uh, you will not have uh, performed a full butchery here; just a uh, field cleaning. Get the blood out. That'll take away quite a bit of blood. Uh, yeah. Wait. Okay. Uh, and then I guess we're all three. Yeah, the three of you are working to bring it back. All right. Yep, you guys are able to eventually get it moved back. Eventually, the you link up with a uh, scouting patrol, and the three of them who would have been out assist you in bringing it back. Yeah. Right. Is uh, that pretty much our day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I guess we get back with that, and then I take it to... Yeah, the, the butchers, butchers and the hunters would be helping they've already got a rudimentary butchery area set up so they would be using that and i'll make sure they know that we're keeping the fur we're keeping specifically the fur. wanting to make winter coats for our trip yeah out of this they would be able to get that after uh give them a week they'll get it thrown together after a week okay okay so at some point i want to see if i can fix my pandax and take out that minus one during the bug attack Okay. Uh, if you have a minus one weapon, they would be able to buff it out and resharpen it. Okay. So somewhere in they can't time, forge, but they can repair here. Somewhere in that time, I get it fixed. For for those types Same. of damages, uh, would mending help, or would it depend? Is that a pretty much a hard yes no? I'm gonna go with a hard no, okay. because functionally there, it's not a small little crack that needs fixed. It's a they're kind of even heating it back up to reforge parts of the blade and work out the impurities the acid introduced. But with a boar, you guys are going to have probably, in addition to what other furs are normally achieved by hunting, uh, deer and other small game, there's going to be enough for winter coats for everyone. Okay. Right. Sweet. And our, I guess, food stuff's up going up. Yep. Um, all the we have. Severus, I needed a government roll from you. I mean, a few hundred, several hundred pounds of meat is great, but there's also a lot of people here. And <laughs> That's also hunting other stuff. Eight. Too. Yeah. All right. Eight plus your chosen stuff. That's it. Six plus two. Oh, <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> Still good. Carry on. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I guess we. As part of those coats and that, they're going to end up using up the remainder of that week. You guys all have. Um, you can add winter clothing to your inventory. Okay. Is Etha still here or is she leaving very soon? Etha is still here. Though she will be leaving within the month if you guys are not departed within the next four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask her about the wyverns, like if she knows where they are, where their nest is, so we can try and avoid that. Uh, they travel the mountains. They typically nest and are raised by the giants to the south. Okay. They are the ones that are, I think, in, a, um, in most cities... 
especially once you get out of the United States, there's lots of uh, feral dogs and the like, where there'll be dogs that belong to people in the neighborhood, and then there's the feral ones that are out there. The wyverns that are the feral ones are the ones that are in the mountains. Okay. Thank God there we go. I live in only has feral cats. <laughs> Um. Okay, I think we're gonna we were gonna wait till we can do anything, or unless you guys want to do something because I can't don't feel comfortable going out and trying to hunt more stuff before so that's my first attempt. <laughs> you had a week. Okay, so that gonna... you you've gone through a long rest. Sweet. <clears throat> How much time would I think it would take of Mining. I'm trying to think of how to word the question. How much time mining do I think it would take us to be able to build more buildings? The issue is labor at the moment. Okay. They are primarily focused on maintaining subsistence level of activity. In order to get more buildings and equipment and uh, industry set up, you guys would need to get more people coming in from overseas. Okay. Um, yeah, so how long until you guys are fully up again? Uh, one more week. I got one more week. Is there anything I want to do that week? Or? I'm setting up a little shrine, something to my god, catch. Did I okay. do you guys have uh, damaged weapons from last week's encounter? No. I was doing nothing. <laughs> uh, okay, so I don't think I can do anything else. I guess um, if they're going to do anything military, I will assist. With okay. That. Um, Shrine, go ahead and give me a government role, as that's your task for the week. It's 11. 11? A passable shrine has been set up. Uh, various other followers of the uh, Pantheon of Deities are coming as well and just paying their respects there. It's not covered, it's not sheltered, it's open air, but it is a place. With a small little altar of stones. Jenna, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you going to be doing? I'm just continuing on my research, I suppose. Go ahead and give me a government roll. Okay. I'll yeah. be assisting her on this one. Yep, so then both of you can go ahead and give me government rolls. What's your stat? No, wisdom. Wisdom. All right. uh, I got a 10 total. I got a 12. All right. Um, as you go in and start researching the various bugs, you are able to determine that they do have a burrow through stone speed that is measured in feet per second. Oh, no. Oh. And they are... As you've experimented with their uh, various chitinous bits, you're like, oh, these these things are sharp, pointy, and very capable of causing immense amounts of harm. You, uh, A lot of the stats I gave you last week where it's like, hey, they took some significant damage going through the fungus, it appears they are actually fairly resistant to it unless it is in large amounts like they needed to cross. Uh, most slashing weapons are ineffective versus them. Though piercing and um, bludgeoning are still fine. Does anyone here use a slashing weapon? Also, the, uh, you would when you're transformed. That's Your claws thing. are slashing. Yeah, when you go back in and take these things out, you find it go to investigate them, which you probably should. <laughs> I don't think that's but good. the. We do have a druid. Even the larger ones you found still appeared to be not fully mature. Okay. Uh, or um, what becomes the spores against the giants? No. Uh, we can you we can like run run down their uh, the chite and give it to our guards as extra armor. It's got resistance to slashing and stuff like that. Maybe give it to our scouts or something. Let's say, let's say it'd be like 
Is the is the chain? You guys light? don't. You guys do not have um, recoverable or workable por portions of chitin. Yeah, I'm saying like in the future, or if we like are going down and take out the nest, you might have. If you could that. find a way to recover the creatures intact, it is likely some suits could be forged if the pieces are large enough. The pro spells, okay. The problem is these creatures are rather spindly, yeah. so acquiring bits that are useful is not exactly easy. Alright. I have a weird question. Do you have any means to make that fungus grow faster? Mm, don't think so. Throw more metal on it? I mean, it consumes the metal, but it doesn't make it to grow faster. I was thinking that if there's any way we could make it grow faster, it'd take care of the bug problem for us. Well, the problem is it take over the whole mine. I can keep it clear. The section that we want to keep clear, it's not a better thing for me. The inside where the, the mold was, that was all stone. Yes. Inside there, and it was growing on the stone. Do we, yes. Do we clear out the fungal uh, growing area of that yes. stuff? Oh, did we? Okay. I yes. don't think we did the whole area. I, I didn't think we had gotten there. Yet. You guys have not cleared all of the fungus. You guys have cleared the farming portion. Oh, okay. I didn't think we had cleared okay, that. Okay, so yet. I'm assuming that then that we started growing crops there. Or... There is limited growth going on there. It's growth at a subsistence level. Okay. Because that's that it. That's what I would have been at least doing whatever I could. Yeah. And a lot of this time, or you know, some of this time is just. Kind of taking stock and seeing what yeah. needs to go where and just kind of facilitating anything that I can do. Primarily in summer, you would be planting cave wheat and uh, plump helmets, mushrooms and an underground form of wheat that's more fungus-based as well, though it re nominally it resembles wheat. <laughs> okay. Um, and I guess that's all we're doing. So, next week comes, and you guys should be up, correct? Yeah. Yep. One yep. Week. And I will change my form to my... I'm not on it. Uh, let's go with... Spring. Alright. So I actually get ahead. You may return to thy porcelain throne of giving shits. <laughs> well, sort of. It's this. Is there the form any of being here that's productive? Like any of them? Let's see. In autumn, I am more charitable and friendly. Uh, in winter, I am pessimistic. In spring, I am more carefree and happy. In summer, I give no shits. So no. None so, of those specifically had productive in the definition, no, correct? Not really. Either don't care, don't care, don't care. Care, care way too hard about things that don't, don't matter. Yeah, it's, it just seems like you just don't care. All give out free hugs. Give Two of them boil down to give out free hugs. And the other two are you're in a corner somewhere moping about your existence. That's an Eladrin. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> actually very fair for an Eladrin. Yeah. Okay. Now we know why we don't like elves. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, I guess we get ourselves prepped for this expedition to get the materials. Alright. And load up on foodstuffs that we'll need yeah. just for ourselves. At least uh, with Outlanders, you guys will be able to supply yourselves traveling. Yeah. Okay. Because you've got three Outlanders. Yeah, but still. We need snacks. Snick snacks acquired. Some boar jerky or something like that. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll head out unless we need anything else. Uh, should, would we be able to pick up any more uh, rations before we head out on this? Because We don't need more, more rations. Okay. We already said that three outlanders will take care of it. We take some like, snack jerky with us in the moment. Okay. Yeah, you guys are going to be able to feed yourselves. You're not anticipating any issues with that. 
So is Etha staying until we return? Is she going to be gone when we get back? Etha will be separately making her way back as of right now, if you guys are headed out. Okay. Is she going Before to leave? I'd like to pick up the dagger. Okay. Uh, they would be able to give you a dagger, yes. Is Etha going by herself, or is some of the... Any of the population she is. There was a her? small group of people she brought with her. Okay. They will be returning with her. Okay. Were they able to make anything out of like the bones or anything of the bear? Or, the boar. As they primarily, they're going to be cutting them open and getting the marrow out. Okay. Okay. Um. Basic crafts or whatever they need would be made so I mean there's probably bone dice floating around and do we have any spare bows lying around spare bows uh, you would be able to get a bow yes all right I was gonna get some uh, bow and some couple arrows since I'm now aware we don't have much range options it's not magic actually uh, some Bow is a simple weapon, right? Yes. Okay. If you get a short bow. Yeah, I'll get a short bow. Functionally, you guys have unlimited access to. Uh, you have reasonable unlimited access to simple weapons. Okay. All right. So. And how many arrows I pick up? Sorry. Uh, they would be able to provide you with two quivers, one to wear and one for storage. Quiver is twenty arrows. Okay. How much do we know about powering the room? Um, method, like basic. We threw put, some stuff in there, and it just came on for a very, very short amount of time. They just been maintained covering the city walls uh, via using wood. It is known that the more life force a creature has the better it is at powering the room. But anything helps a little bit? Or is it pretty much has to be something that is alive or was recently alive? They have used living, although the runic fire does consume items of value. So worthless stone doesn't really do much. It just clogs up the fuel. You have to get up there and clean all the soot out of the chimney. That's what you can do with the mushrooms. Bottle them up. Dexterity damage. For sure, though. Cool. And yes. So, I was just wondering if this was could basically just be a giant trash incinerator. <laughs> just any any extra junk that just needs to be disposed of. It could just be. We could just throw it. Over. <clears throat> yeah, but we could yes. throw it over the mountain. Or yes. if it would help even Rest slice use it, it so go through, through the room. It gets rid of it. Exactly. Gives a little bit of something. Yeah. You know. We should recycle everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll head out. <clears throat> Alrighty. Two people on point. And I guess you on point. Alright. Right. Jenna, D4 roll. Well, odd even roll. Tell me odds or evens. Roll, see what you get. Tell me if you roll odds or evens. Even. <clears throat> Alright, it's going to be four weeks. Somehow I managed to roll a D12. Alright. So, you guys begin traveling. Um, go ahead and give me um, survivals, those who are on point. Advantage for being outlanders. Tyler, can you hand me the lid to my box? That's six or six. Uh, that's, let's see. Survivals so ten. Twenty-two. All right. Um... <laughs> Druid does the bulk of the work, but you, you're able to make some progress going forward. Um, go ahead and give me one more for the last two weeks. 20. Uh, that's 11. That's better than the 
one. All right, yep. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, that was a perfectly fine. You guys Three eventually times. get to a platform and um, perceptions all. Ooh, that's actually good. That is a 23. It's 11. 10. 7. 20s plus. So, only one. Uh, <coughs> you managed to see kind of just... Well, you guys have approached one of the plateau mountains that just kind of rises up maybe two or 300 feet off the surrounding uh, foothills. But you kind of just have to glance and look down and you see <coughs> almost like the remnants of a camp. Um, some sort of long burned out fire, but you see some things wrapped in canvas. From the looks of it, looking down there, it looks like it's for creatures that are of large size or greater. Oh. Uh, now is... Uh... It does not look like it's been used in probably a month from here. Alright, so that... So it could possibly be the giants, but I'm going to point out to uh, our two scouts the campsite I just saw. Yep. You have to look over the mountain. With some effort, you can see it uh, through some of the uh, <coughs> mountain jungle foliage. Is this, is this giant size, or is this more of like Goliath size? More Goliath sized. Still bigger than what we want to deal with. Yeah. We going to go check it out or are we continuing? Is there a need for the My have supplies, my have information about it. Well, it doesn't look like it's been used in about a month, so we should be safe. But what well, if it's been there for a month, there ain't going to be much supplies left. Might find you a hooker's eye shovel. <laughs> I would use it. It'd be a great weapon. I think it's a waste of our time, to be honest. Okay. Um, is this something that we can just... Is it on the way, or is it way you, off? You can keep side? going. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out where it's at. Yeah. Um, it's down the ridge line to your left, okay. off the path. Is there anything around there that might be indicative of why it's there? Too far to tell. So we can either continue on, or if we want to check it out, maybe me and Fish could kind of do a wide circle around, make sure there's nothing else in the area before going straight into it. Now, I kind of like to know if it's either damp raiders, although they shouldn't be around here, I don't think. No, they shouldn't. Uh, or if it's potentially one of those groups of settlers that went off and disappeared. <coughs> well, the people we found in the cave said that the giants would occasionally send trolls, so maybe this was like a troll campsite or something like that. It's not a troll site, it's real. It's what? It's not on troll sides, it's on Goliath sides. Goliaths and trolls are the same size. They are? I thought those like, They're both large sized difference. creatures. Okay. Would this be. Would this be typical? The, the materials and layout of a camp, would it be more typical of. All you're able to see is uh, some things wrapped in canvas and a old fire. You okay. can't determine okay. anything beyond that. I would say the only reason I might be interested in checking this out is just to get a better look to know what might potentially be in the area. Yeah. Because uh, if they were here at some point, fairly recently, they might still be in the area. I'd like to know if we're looking at Goliaths or Trolls or something else. Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, okay. Do you guys just want to go by the spider cell down there or do you want to escape well, the or... If you guys want to just head towards the camp, Maybe yeah. a couple of us can go and stay I'd say it's going to be acrobatics again to get down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> acrobatics or athletics choice. Uh, I got some pittance and a rope. Would I be able to 
use you, that. You could have fixed the climbing rope, yes. You All will right. still need to roll acrobatics athletics as you're fixing the rope, and fixing right. the route, but everyone else will have advantage. How far away is this camp? You said I could roll That's acrobatics to fix it? 40 feet down and about then 40 feet out. You said I could use acrobatics to... Acrobatics or athletics. Right, acrobatics it is. That is a 16. You're able to fix the route without any major issues, and you are at the bottom. All right. It's good. I'll try to go down. You have advantage. <laughs> You're welcome. Double map. DC 10 check. You made it. Barely. That one's going over here with three others. <laughs> I've got a line of them. You've got a line of dice that have nat one on you today? Yeah. It was a nat two. That one was a two. Okay, close enough. Yeah. Um, that is 15 total for athletics. All right, yeah, you're fine. So DC 10 check. I'll go down next. Yep. That's a natural 16. Yep. <laughs> you guys can go through just... I'll go down. Yep. It's a, and we have advantage? Yep. Right. These are using a fixed route. I'll stay at the bottom and Six. try to spot in case somebody falls. Okay. Six is your total? Yes. All right. I said it first. You did. <laughs> I can uh, feel it coming. Go ahead. Uh, give me I'm a, big, I'm a, big, strong a D4. You want high. Let me just teleport on top of his body to add extra weight. Two. Two. You managed to get 20 feet when you kind of... You you see what looks like a good handhold end. Why no one had used that? It's real like that's a better route down. So you kind of just let go of the rope. It's just out of habit. Like I'm gonna grab onto this, and it immediately gives way. Yeah, I was thinking of oh that's why. Yes. <laughs> just. Oh. You may go ahead and make a strength check to catch him. Just a base strength, strength saving throw. Strength throw. Inspired, huh? <laughs> you can't can't go for it. Go you. for it. You're looking at him going, oh, you're going to catch me. <laughs> That's an uh, 11. It's an 11, okay. I have um, a 1. So you can modify the fall. Here, so. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, and so the fall is only going to deal 1 point of damage hey, on a d6. Me? No. Just, just to him. Oh, uh, okay. Could have been a lot worse. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I just climbed down with my flat speed. Yep. <laughs> You're like head first, just. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, cats. Okay, go for it. That wouldn't work so well. Aren't you a monk? Don't you not take fall damage or something? Uh, it's, it's later. Depends on okay. it's later. It's, it's later. later. It's always later. Wow. <laughs> Fourteen. Yeah, you're good. Bard's the only one who caused problems. Our old two Bard's girl. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But you guys are now kind of at the bottom. Decent, a decent racket's been made as you guys have been getting down between yeah. ping, 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 hammering in pythons and followed by a mini rock slide. <laughs> uh, it was a custom made one from Hero Forge. Guys. Sorry. Fish. You want to go around, kind of get a little bit of distance and keep the party in between us? All right. And look for anything going on. So go that way. I'll go this way. Survival. Yep, go ahead and give me a survival check. Well, no, give me perception. You're specifically looking for ongoing things. Twelve. Eight. All right. You guys kind of do a broad loop, just kind of looking out, looking in. Just don't really see anything. Do you think you see owl there? You guys meet up on the other end of the camp. Both of you indicate you've seen nothing. Okay. That's fine. I go straight into the camp. There's definitely nothing happening. Alright. Uh, you go straight into the camp. Yep. You see that there's about three different bundles that all appear to have been just kind of wrapped, holding something you can't really see. Uh, the, then there's like a large campfire that appears to have been long burned out and rained on. I'd like to uh, investigate one of the bundles. All right, you approach. It's it appears DLC to just bundle. be a wrapped bundle. Prepare your credit card. 
Well, I meant like, can I tell what's in the bundle? Not without moving it or picking it up, shaking it, opening it. Pick it up and shake it. Yeah. Oh, boy, Christmas. <laughs> what's in this giant bundle? I'm going to poke it with my spear. <laughs> All right. Poke it, and as you apply pressure, it just kind of sags a little, and then you let it down, and poke it a different way, and it sags the other way, and you let it down. Okay. Um, I'm going to open it up. All right. Uh, you open it up, and it appears to have kind of some, dr- not really dry rotted, but rot- rotted rations. Okay. Um, you also see a small little pouch that contains about, make sure I'm doing the math right on this, uh, 30, ge- uh, 30 gold worth of gems. Sweet. And he's the only one in the camp. And so the rest of you can see him <laughs> pulling that out. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm already ripping into the other two at this point. Yeah, so the other two have shiny similar. And I'm just... Ultimately, as you're just kind of piv- pulling apart, the canvas, some of it just kind of like falling apart in your hands as it really wasn't meant to weather the amount of time it's been here. But uh, all in all, you get about 120 uh, gold worth in gems. Sweet. Cool, we don't have the currency set up yet. <laughs> That's, that's, that's rotted rations. That's what um, it's going to be. I'm yes. assuming everybody can sit there and just watch. Yeah, they're, they're watching you do all this. Okay. Yeah, I'm, like... I'm like staying kind of on the outskirts of mm. the camp area and yeah, just keeping it's... a lookout. Yeah, it'd be nice if we... Well, you see pouches. You don't see me actually... Ah. Gems. Um, well, you would have seen at some point because you would have oh, seen yeah, what's yeah, in yeah, the okay. pouch. Yeah. <laughs> well, um... So useful right now. At, and the visual is, is I'll like skeptically... Look into one of the pouches or and find the gems, and then like all caution goes to the wind, <laughs> and I just start like five year old for Christmas. Can I roll just, insight to see if like to try and think of what why they would leave pouches of gems amongst rotting? Go pouches? for it. Trap or dead? Or they were chased off. Uh, Twelve. They appear to be just traveling sacks similar to what you guys would use for a backpack. That's all the info you're able to glean. Okay. Uh, Could I start walking into the camp see if there's anything that he missed? Yeah, go ahead and give me a perception. I'm walking back to the close side after that. 21. 21. Uh, You kind of see some very faint weathered drag marks leading from the camp into the underbrush. All right. Uh, away from the mountains. Away from the mountains, so kind of away from be, our destination. That'd be kind of towards me at that point. Yes. You rolled lower on perception. Yeah. That's not interesting. Right, uh, yep. Getting visual of where everybody's at. Well, let's see. He's the only one in, camp, in the camp right now, so I'm going to grab him and point out these uh, marks. <laughs> Just go out my head. Why? All right. Uh, you were able to see faint weathered drag marks where it appears a large creature was dragged. So, uh, and or <laughs> that, that, drag marks, like, that shouldn't worry us at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm just sitting there. And or multiple drag marks, or multiple large creatures. Three drag marks? They had a drag race. You can't really tell. Mm. So, yeah, uh, them getting... Would I be able to tell if they were... No, I wouldn't be able to tell what time they were dragged off. It's just tracks. This is old and weathered, so it's been through multiple rainstorms. Uh, is there any signs of like a here. fight or anything at the campsite? Nothing you were able to discern. All right. So I don't know if like they were dragged off in their sleep or just one of them got knocked out and they had to drag one guy. After I tell him, I'm going to go find the rest of you guys, tell you guys that, and go do that. He disappears into a bush. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> Is that a snake? <laughs> Once they're kind of... not a tree, it turns out it's a tree. <laughs> um, okay. Once they've kind of gone through things... Yeah. Um, I know, it'll probably be harder after it's been ransacked, but... Um, can I get any kind of sense on what anything that would 
give clues to what type of creature as far as like the type of rations. I'd imagine it. I don't know D and not D&D really. I don't know if trolls eat different things. The fact People. that it is um, large bundles of rations that they appear to have been meat. Mm-hmm. Once upon a time, I guess. Like a hardened black thing that looks like it should be slush, but is it? It's weird. You don't want to touch it. Okay. Probably, uh, I guess we don't want to scare us with that and trolls ambush. Do we care? Do we not care? Just curious as to what's going on in the neighborhood. Because while these two, whoever was dragged off is probably dead by now, would drag them off? No, probably it's still the current there. neighborhood that we're going through. Be, I guess is there trolls all around? Are there glass all around? Are the glass and trolls fighting each other? Is uh, anything going on? I was assuming whoever was dragged off is dead, but whatever dragged them off is in the area. It is not too worried about it because we can just leave. But there's be between one and three of whatever drag these guys off, or potentially more. Do we need to feel my judgment while you learn? Yes, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Alright, I'm just making sure you're aware that it exists. I'm playing an elf, I'm getting judged by the whole chat. That's true. What's one more person judging me? One more person judging you. That is exactly what it is. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, do I do I have any um, particular information about uh, fighting Goliaths or trolls that would be of use? Nope. No. You know what specifically I'm, I'm looking for about trolls? Oh, no. You would know fire and acid for trolls. Okay. We almost it's died in, in the same because us as players had no idea. We in the know. same way that this world knows fire and acid for trolls. Okay. It's mythological knowledge. It's like things for vampires in our world. It's like exactly. everybody knows how you kill a vampire, but it's Because like, of it's just, the low magic yes. setting, low fantasy setting of the islands... Functionally, if you know something or it's in common myth lore here, you can understand that your characters would have a similar myth lore basis okay. for understanding. Okay. Okay, so, are we going to stick around and try to track this thing down, or are we nope. leaving? No, no, okay. So, Just wanted to, to get a sense of what we might be up against, but it's not like right. something large, so that's <laughs> something we should probably yeah. worry about. Not a lot of information, but. So, I guess head back up, use the All right. pulley system to get back up. Well, weren't we uh, also using our... Uh, wasn't this also on the way to where we're going? Yeah, you guys are basically at where you're going now. So we don't need to go but back up. You do need to go up, because oh. the, where you're going is 200 feet up above okay. from where you've already come down from. Okay. I'm going to go last and... Uh... Yep. So everyone go ahead and roll with advantage. Um, in or well, okay. Those of you who don't have climb speed, <laughs> unless uh, you want to let me go up and you pick it back up since you have a climb speed. Twenty-two. Yep, fine. Athletics or acrobatics? Your choice. Twenty-two. Fine. Yeah, definitely athletics. Fifteen. It's a DC ten check. I rolled a three and a six. All right. You have a list of plus four. Yep. Unless he um, turns into a bear. Roll me a D four. In this case, you want low. Four. <laughs> Three. Three? You get 30 feet up. It's kind of gotten congested at the top of the rope. But, so you're just like, oh, I think I could scamper off to the side. Not learning from the bard's previous mistake. I'm As, stronger than the bard. Exactly. It's fine. And then, I'll show him. No, it's it's fine. Idea. <laughs> no, no, I'm going for the same spot he went for. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> DC 15. So just say that's a death sentence at this point now. Yeah. Nine plus. Okay. Nine plus. You plummet 30 feet. Yep. 
I might be dead. <laughs> Ten points of damage. Oh, I'm not dead. Yay. Am... As you just kind of back onto the ground. Ow! I'm going to walk up to him and help him back up on his feet. Don't worry. If you want, I can set some cow trips on the bottom here. Or like the bottom again. <laughs> Alright. Still two of you who haven't made it yet. Alright, uh... Which was us? Just us? Yeah, just the two of you. Alright, uh... You could try again. I'll... Do I'll go last. Do you need a meeting to play an inspiring flute? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think that would have helped me still. <laughs> it could have. Well, you gotta try again. Yeah, you were yeah. only... Oh, yeah, that's true. There was only uh, one point. That was technically a nine, so... Uh, Inspiration would have saved you since we were DC. Do you want me to use it now? Because I'm not as bad. I'm just going to turn into a giant spider and climb up the wall. <laughs> okay. The druid goes into spider form and just <laughs> straight up. All right, well, I'm going to roll and reclaim my stuff. All right, and then you are rolling without advantage. Yep. That is it. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Roll me odd even. Odd is you. Odd. Uh, so you lost balance while you were un- uh, while you were pulling a python out. Uh, now roll me a d4 to figure out how far up you made it before this happened. Three. Three. So about thirty feet up. You you see a really good handhold. You're like I think it's I literally the one that I just. Exactly you're like I'm pretty sure like it looks like there's been some nice clearing out. You can get a good foot on there too. And then you get, you get a foot I on there and the you're just in this. pull. Pull, Python comes out, all of your weight shifts to your left foot. Whoop. Your left foot then has uh, nothing underneath it. Dexterity saving throw, DC 15. Actually, DC 10, because you're trying to hold up the road. Is that a 2? That is a 7. 7? The lowest I can do without a net one. Immediately, you're like, oh, I know what I should do. I should tuck and roll. <laughs> so you immediately grab Python in hand and tuck. Cunning da- action dash uh, <laughs> to the bottom. <laughs> Naruto run down the wall. Go ahead and roll me a d10. You want greater than a 2. 10. Ten. Alright, so halfway down, metal spike! And you release it. <laughs> you still take Seven points of fall damage. I'm still alive. There is a loose rope hanging, just dangling tauntingly from the cliffside. How high is the cliffside? 40 feet. <laughs> uh, I would like to use... Can I use the rope to get up? You can still use the rope back up. You're still rolling without advantage because it's not a fixed route. Well, I was going to say, once I get like 50 feet step. up, just use my base step to get all <laughs> the way back up. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll. It's uh, going to be a DC... It was... Ten originally, so five. Five on the die. Okay. You get up, and then you just kind of imagine yourself up at the top. Uh, the pythons still have not been recovered for the top ten feet. So as such, the rope cannot hey, be Hey, person run. with the climb speed, can you get that for me, please? <sighs> All right, you go down. Go ahead and give me a acrobatics check as you're still... Climb speed doesn't help you when you're trying to pull something can out. I, can I 17. Go? You're fine. Okay. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I lost my shovel. I won't lose more stuff. Yep, you've recovered your entire entirety of your climbing gear. Who needs combat when we have things to climb? Yeah, when you have a difficult uh, high-grade mountain that needs climbing and requires a fixed route. <laughs> Survive trolls. Slay xenomorphs. <laughs> Die to cliffside. <laughs> You must face the cliffside alone. The most gradual of inclines. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Dark Souls, your biggest enemy is fall damage. Not the actual enemies. Yeah. Alright, uh, continue on, I guess. Yep. You guys are at the uh, foot of a 200-foot cliff plateau. You could probably get about 60 feet up without needing climbing gear. <clears throat> I, I'm staying in spider. Yeah, form. you're still spider form. 
<laughs> okay, who's got con gear? Me. I'll go set up. What is the length of your rope? 50 feet. All right. That's great. That's 50 of 160. So uh, I'm going to see if I can get the first. You said we can try 60 to get feet you're getting up already, so 50 of 140 technically. All right. So we could already get up uh, pretty easily with the first 60, so I'd like to use my climbing gear to try to set that up above that. All right. But my point is that I'll only get you 110 of the 200 feet required. At which point you will be up on a sheer cliff face going, huh? That's <laughs> you know the rope ends here. But it'll, it'll give us an advantage for that one small part of it. Why don't we tie the bottom to... Um, look, we have we're all, all of us tied up on the same rope. Uh, la that way the last person, once we get to the top, can climb up with and pulling out the pythons along the way. And that way they can start climbing up set of new pythons. That's or, not quite how fixed routes work. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not a climber. Yeah. Does anyone else have rope? No. You can hey guys, tie. I got fifty feet of rope. <laughs> you guys can tie yourselves off, and what that will turn it into is a group climb check. Okay. Can I go up kind of ahead as a spider and just try to? Be kind of a lookout to find good handholds and things to, to try to point out. Uh, so you want to go ahead and spend an hour just scouting ahead. Try to find a good good okay. route, good places. If there's any go ahead and give ledges me a that would actually give a, a resting point. Go ahead and give me something. a survival check as you're... Uh, yeah, it's going to be survival. Okay. 22. So you begin doing just natural spider, just a slow extending almost like a Fibonacci sequence spiral as you're just exploring the cliff face. You guys sit there and for about an hour just watch that spider just walk all over <laughs> that cliff side. Doing spider things. Like using butt string. <laughs> butt rope. Yeah, oh, well, he's not that big of a spider. Rope, but... but eventually you see it. You're actually kind of able to find a spot that's going to get you guys up most of the way. You find a dried waterfall. But what's important is that it has kind of a carved angle in it. You guys can work your way up. You would be able to get up that the entire way using that. Awesome. So do you guys want to do like the uh, roof rope check? or? Well, you say we don't need the climbing gear. There's use that no one. climb check if you follow this ravine up. Oh, yeah. okay. So we'll use that. Because functionally everything you'll be, the area you'll be covering is less than 20 feet high when you do need to climb, and I'm just not making a roll a check or something like that. Good eye, good eye, Sir Spider. Yes. All of them. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess we'll go up that way. Alrighty. <laughs> it's like the spider coin. Yep. You guys... Is that thing flipping me off? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it using its middle legs? legs. <laughs> so you guys work your way up the ravine. There's a couple slips here and there. Maybe a scrape, maybe just a small cut, but nothing too bad whatsoever. And as you guys get up there, you can almost feel it getting cooler and cooler until it's... Despite the fact that it's late afternoon, it feels like a brisk spring morning. But at the same time, very odd. As the air itself is just harder to breathe, so you're breathing heavier. But at the same time, it's still really humid for being this cool. Almost like there's a perpetual dew floating about. We're high up in clouds. But I know if this, if, does this seem normal for where we're at? Yes-ish. You're not typically up this high. This would be even higher than the mountain you guys are settled on. Okay. This is the air just to begin to find the stuff? Yes. Okay. As you guys begin to look around, you can see that there is some large vine, fibrous vine that appears to have overgrown large sections of the forest inland. 
Okay. I'm gonna stay a little bit ahead of the party. Okay. And just act as a, a, a stealthy spider scout. Well, do we need to go further? Can you just start harvesting and stuff right here? I'm just. I'm just gonna yeah, go around. Yeah, these kind of make. These are following along the riverbed as it kind of goes in. It's naturally clearer there, as when it's during the rainy season. This area would be a torrent of water washing out any obstructions. Uh, rainy season would be defined as spring. It is not spring. Therefore, you guys don't have to worry about torrents of floodwaters. Kudos you! Yay! So, uh, you guys have advanced. Uh, Spider Scout, go ahead and give me a perception. Um, that's a 19. Alright. Um, I'm also being sneaky. You're that the matters. first person to kind of notice this. You can just hear... <laughs> <laughs> just those kind of sounds scattered through the forest. Like, you might hear one over to your left, maybe 100, 200 feet. And there's something over there to the right, further out. Do I have any idea what this is? Uh, go ahead and give me a nature roll. 16. It would not be a natural creature. Oh. It sounds like monkeys. Um... Monkeys intermixed with dog barking and screeching. Dog monkeys. <laughs> dog monkeys. <laughs> there we go. Donkeys. No. no. <laughs> there are donkeys in the trees. I'm just trying to harvest some of the vines that are on the side of the water. You have by. not gotten to the vine area yet. Isn't, okay. He uh, is... Figuring this out after you guys have gone about 100, 150 feet. You're in the forest, but not in the central viney bits yet. I'm going to come back to the party, go back to me, yep. and let them know what I've heard, distance, directions, yeah. all that. You guys could kind of hear it. Now that you're listening for it, you can kind of hear it echoing across the thinner air. Okay. Is that in the direction we need to go? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Can I use a healing salve from yeah. <laughs> when I fell and got hurt earlier? Yeah. I'm going to do that. Go for it. Before we go further in. That's two points. There you go. Easy. I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> Chat, for what it's worth, has assured you guys there is no trap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe a word you're saying. <laughs> well then, not a word. Let's no, the just, words I'm saying are true. Let's just go right in. Chat has said that. Anybody else? Everybody else feeling okay? Yeah, yeah I man. Only down one. I'm down to seven. You, bro. <laughs> yeah, you might, you might want to put some on him. He's yeah. got seven now. Mm -hmm. What? I'm missing seven hit points, so oh. I'd appreciate oh, some yeah. self. Nice. I'll try to do a little bit better job. Two oh, points. That's, yeah, that's another two points. I was going to say, if you want to wait, my healing spells are a lot more potent than y'all have. And they're a lot more worth than just two or three points. Use that <laughs> it's us. We'll go down eventually regardless. To try it. Okay, so how do we want to approach this? It sounds like we got spider dog monkeys in front of us. Spider dog monkeys. So we're just going to put some people. How many times can you change shape? Well, what, what's oh. more until, you know, Magic Sunday comes around. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a short rest. What? I just. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I still, I mean, for today, it's still going to be. Do we want to keep pressing forward? I mean, yes, I, mean, I, 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 I would. Back. No, I wouldn't want to keep, make camp or anything here right now. So yeah. What time of day is it at this point? Uh, you guys would be up here at around three o'clock. Several hours. Okay. 
I guess. So the distance that we've traveled in the last day, how much longer do I think it would take us to get to the top? You guys or are at the top. Th oh, okay. You imagine you'd be able to cross the different distance in about a half hour of walking. Okay, I'm gonna do so. Like, bow out, short bow out. All right. Yeah, I probably should too. Go ahead, and I want front two people to roll me perceptions and stealth. So that's a twelve perception and nine stealth. Twenty-three perception. All right. 18 stealth. So you see it uh, 50 feet out. You get there, you look, and you see what looks like a knoll. Um, yeah. Monkey dog. Absolutely <laughs> hidden. Standing <laughs> there. Dead still. It's crouched. <laughs> looking at you. But at the same time, with the stupid idea that somehow you can't see it <laughs> because it's standing still. I have moved so slowly. I'm going to try to pretend that I don't see it. My presence has erased it. And I will try to let all the party know. All right, uh, roll me a deception. <laughs> this is going to be great. That's an 18 minus one. All right. Uh, you kind of turn back, kind of just get the party's attention. They kind of motion like you're motioning to the scenery and the knoll. You see it kind of look down, see a flower at its feet, then smile as it realizes you're looking at the flower. He is still perfectly hidden, and none of you know what he's doing. Have, would, uh, this is player knoll. knowledge. Has any of us encountered knoll? No. Ever? Okay. There's a bipedal monkey dog. Yep. Do we attack it? Or not? Insight on the monkey dog, man. Uh, it is, it's got a, what do they use? Short, yeah, they, it's got a crude spear it. and appears to be waiting for you guys to get closer. If, if we both agree to attack something, then... Uh, We're good. Well, Before we proceed, I would like to roll these perception people. to see if I can see any of them around us or anything like that. Do we want to go Because if the sound, what are you describing? Our That's an eight. Friends. No. And there's only one null. Okay, there's only one null. Yep. I heard, I heard multiple nulls, or multiple yep. sounds earlier. Yeah. So, yeah, there's but perhaps. they weren't from a unified area. Yeah. We could hear multiple as other, others. I, I'm going to assume that there's more. Okay. Should we just shoot him? Do, can we just go around him and just pretend like he's not there, but be waiting for him to do something? Then as we go by him, be like, Ooh. <laughs> I don't want him to give him the reputation of thinking he actually hit us. Actually, no, I want him to think that our perception is that terrible that we don't see him. Yeah. Just pretend we don't see him. Okay. And if he, if, if maybe he's just hiding from us. And that's it. And we go by, and everything's fine. Probably okay. not, but I guess go around. All right, you guys kind of plot a cir circumvent. I want perceptions from all. To notice him. Yeah. The best way to surprise somebody is to think they're surprising you. Thirteen. Sixteen. Everyone sees this. 18. Oh god. <laughs> he rolled a two for stealth. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys um, start circumventing, you see. When he thinks you're not looking, which is always, you see him like scatter a couple steps forward and still. <laughs> <laughs> then he'll wait a little bit. He'll wait till he's certain you're not looking. You're clearly looking at that thing right there. <laughs> It'll just. Do we? Is it moving towards, towards you? Him? Yes. Does he have a crate I, over him? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a cardboard box. <laughs> but. Do you want? Why don't we take it to prisoner? Yeah, Ask right. it some questions. If it doesn't respond, check I, it off the mountain. 
All right. I doubt it would speak comedy. Hey guys, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go. Ain't <laughs> <Hey, laughs> <hey, laughs> right. I think there's a good bush over there for you. <laughs> you know pull out right here, hide behind trees. Is tree. the uh, Noel looking at him as he's moving to the bush? I'm gonna be going. The Noel appears to be very no. interested in your slither kind. The what? You that is the, the slithered kind. That is the in-game name of Dragonborn. Okay, Dragonborn so while being he's a doing slang that, player. I'm also going to go the opposite way. He's going to try to sneak up on Noel. I have 19 stealth, by the way. Okay. With a... That is a stealthy bat. 24 in stealth. Would... The Noel has now decided lizard meat. <laughs> They're going over there. Why are they walking that way? They don't see me. <laughs> and then he promptly place. forgets that you exist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. That answered my question. So I've hidden in that spot. What do I see the thing doing and the rest of the group doing? Um, you see that it's. As your group's kind of just slowly continuing on, you guys have now set up uh, about. 30 feet from it as it's walking between you, 30 feet, there's 30, 60 feet between the two of you, it's walking directly through the middle. It's closed to about 60 feet from the party. Alright, is it past my position? It is at its closest to your position, as it will get. Okay, I was going to wait for it to pass, to kind of be following them past where I went off the road so I could try and come up behind them. I oh, also trying to he's approaching the party from the side. Okay. But you'd be able, if you're getting in the way, you'd be able to wait until he's within 10 feet of you. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Then you were wanting same area? Yeah. Okay. So you got to kind of set up an ambush on either side. They'll get with, He'll get roughly within 10 feet of you. Uh, and then I'm going to attack, I guess. In unison. Yep. He's, uh, do we yep. want to use our bows for this? Well, yeah, it's ten feet in front of us, so I'm going to use my bow. All right, I'm going to close in. All right, you may both go ahead and roll. You both have an advantage because he does not know that you even exist. Wait, wait, wait. Twelve. Um, nope. Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen hits. All right, and I get sneak attack, I guess? Yep. One, two, six. Uh, uh, 11 damage. Alright. You get a nice, good, solid hit, and he just lets out a howl of pain. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, your arrows, as he's kind of doing his jutter... I think I should go back into stealth. <laughs> as <laughs> I as uh, you fired, and he just kind of started it, just kind of, your arrow hit his shield. Does he look so, bloody? Yes. Okay. Yes, he has a shield. Oh, okay. It's on his back, oh. not being yeah. brandished. Yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and roll up initiative. Uh, one. Yeah. Go. 14. Six. Ten. All right. Seven. What we'll treat this as is because I don't think this is going to go on for long. We're going to do it in party initiative. We're also going to do it stacked party initiative, which means those who are closer are interacting first. So that means despite the roll, uh, Devin is going first. Okay. <laughs> um, well, it's because I've got two initiative groups that you're in. I am going to try and attack him non lethal. Okay. Uh, damage. Can I do that with Reaper or do I have to do like an armor? armor do it like with thing? the hilt uh, of your Reaper? You can use the Reaper. Okay. Attack. 14 plus 4, 18. 18 hits. Alright. Uh, Add it to the heart in a non lethal way. Uh, 6 damage. 6 damage? With emotional damage. Yeah. A nice call. You're, you're kind of aiming for muscle groups here and intending to cause him enough pain that he passes out rather than pain for killing. That's what non-lethal stabbing damage is. Yeah. Yeah. You're attempting to knock them out via pain. <laughs> but he's still screeching and yelling and acting because he's up next. Okay. Uh, 
misses with his spear, you kind of just get out of the way, deftly just parry it out. Uh, I'm going to attempt to shoot him again and hopefully right. not miss. All right, roll a hit. Nope. What's the to hit? Two. <laughs> you draw back your bow mightily, and this is how archers shoot. Yes? From ten feet away, you aim way up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They always say aim above your opponent. I'm going to make my ancestors proud. <laughs> <laughs> Elven arrows always find their mark, because where they land is exactly what they were targeting. Um, Do I then, a fruit or a tree or something? The other four of you may act as you see fit. As you're all... So, How far away? Uh, it's 30 feet from you, collectively. I'm shooting my crossbow again. Not Go for it. Uh, you must be in melee to deal not lethal. Oh, okay. Well, then I run for how far? 30 feet. Okay, or move my full movement yep. up there. And, and that's uh, 21. Using what weapon? Uh, hand axe. Okay. Uh, four damage. Four damage? Um, yep, it's still up. <laughs> you just kind of clock it with the flat of the axe right along the side of a head. A solid metal bitch slap is basically what just occurred there. <laughs> it looks stunned. It's just like, what? Does it actually talk? No, it, okay. it's, it's yelping. I just wanted to clear that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I'll use 30 feet of movement and do the same. All right. Non-lethal. With a, a spear at his cock. That's going to be a 16. Uh, hits. Five points finally. Yeah. A, a nice solid overhead of the spear, just short of the spear point, on the haft, back of the neck, it just falls down. It's constant. Back of the neck. Nothing personal, kid. Just look at the flowers. Well, that went great. Now everybody knows that he's out. <laughs> I don't know. He also thought he was hit. They might think he was fine. Yeah, I don't know about that. Perception roll, please. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a 16. There has been an increase in howls coming in the general direction mm-hmm. of the... I thought there was only one. I told you there were multiple. No one but you thought there was only one. You, I told you specifically you didn't see more than one. I would suggest everybody get ready. He's got friends. Okay. 